Let's do problem number nine. This is actually a really interesting question. It says, determine whether u and v are orthogonal, parallel, or neither. So let's go ahead and first write down the vectors. So u is equal to j hat plus 2k hat. And for convenience, we can write this in component form. There's really an invisible zero i hat here. So it's actually zero. 1, right, there's a 1 in front of the j hat, and then 2. This is the component form of that vector. And then v, in this case, uh, let's just go ahead and translate it to component form. So it'd be 1 times i hat, negative 5, and then negative 1, right, just translating this uh, i, j, k form to uh, component form. Okay, so to find out if they're orthogonal, you have to compute the dot product. And if it's 0, then you know they're orthogonal. So let's go ahead and start by doing that first. So u dot v. So you just multiply the corresponding components and add. So 0 times 1 plus 1 times negative 5 plus uh, 2 times negative 1. I did that kind of quick. Let me just double check my work. So 0 times 1, 1 times negative 5, 2 times negative 1. Yep, everything looks OK. This is negative 5 minus 2 equals negative 7. This is not equal to 0, so they are not orthogonal. So not orthogonal. Orthogonal is the same as perpendicular, so, so it's not that one. Okay, so parallel is the interesting one. So u and v are parallel. So let me go ahead and write this down. So u and v are parallel. if uh, u is equal to a scalar times v. So in other words, if you can take one of them and multiply it by a number to get the other. So let's try to do it. Let's take u, which is 0, 1, 2, and let's try to solve this equation. So if we get an answer to this equation, it's pa they're parallel. If we don't get an answer, they are not parallel. So to figure out if they're parallel, you just write this down, and if you can find c, they're parallel. If you can't, it's not parallel. So this is 1, negative 5, negative 1. I'm pretty sure these are not parallel. You can just, you can just tell by looking, I think. So this is 0, 1, 2. Most of the time you can just look at it. And look here, c, negative 5c, negative c. And now you get three equations, right? You get, let's see, the first one would tell us that, that c is equal to 0. This is the fun part. And now negative 5c is equal to 1. And then negative c is equal to 2. So we have c equals 0. This tells us c is negative 1 fifth. And this tells us c is negative 2. Well, c can't be all three numbers, so this is impossible. So they are not parallel. So if we were to have gotten an answer here, then they would have been parallel. So the answer in this case is neither. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.